guys, this is Black Tactical One, um, first channel on our YouTube. Um, so we definitely appreciate you uh, tuning in with us. Um, if you go ahead and subscribe, uh, this channel is going to be all about just reviews on um, gear that I have found uh, very, very beneficial to myself in home defense situations, um, range, uh, just out at the range shooting uh, and hunting situations, um, self-defense situations. Um, yeah, it's going to be reviews on all kinds of different um, gear uh, situations. Um, I'll do some reviews on um, different tactics for home defense too, which I think uh, will be very beneficial as well. Um, so yeah, keep uh, in tune with us, please uh, subscribe. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions at all, uh, please comment below. Um, please keep it uh, G rated, PG rated, PG 13 is okay too. Um, just try to keep it as clean as possible. I know that I'm just starting out doing this, so I really do appreciate any feedback for sure. So, I just um, so to get started here today, I'm going to actually do a review on my brand new. Um, Daniel Defense uh, M4 V5 um, carbine AR-15 um, that I just picked up this past couple weeks. Great, great gun. I'll get into that soon. Picked up a new mag today at the range. Shot it for the first time actually today. I got the CLP uh, Break Free, which um, Colonial Shooting Academy. Check them out online. Um, great, great group of guys um, in Richmond. Um, very very knowledgeable most of them are military and police uh, police law enforcement um, have some sort of experience within those areas so definitely appreciate them with their knowledge and their willingness to help um, so I picked up some break free bore cleaner today um, you know how that goes getting a new gun different caliber you've never had before so here we go so got this gun a couple weeks ago um, usually runs about Seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars with tax. Um, definitely seems like oh wow, why would you pay you know that much for an AR-15? And it's definitely worth it. It comes with a lot of things that you're going to want to have to upgrade anyway, um, unless you um, are just starting out and your budget doesn't call for it. But mine did at this particular time. Um, so yeah, just to go through this, what the positives, uh, pros and cons are about this gun. Um, I absolutely love the buckstock on here. Um, it's Daniel Fences, and I think they came out with these and the grips and the four grips um, around 2013. Have their own um, actually grip on them too, which is very very comfortable. And I have a beard, so it doesn't get caught on there. So I was very very happy with that. Very comfortable. It's a uh, three stage locking there love it love it um, then we got the um, grip here uh, it's uh, Daniel Fences own grip very very slim very comfortable um, when you're in the trigger too it's just so so comfortable um, definitely would recommend that and something about the channel that I've created here I definitely want to do some up close um, shots of this stuff because a lot of reviews do not have up close shots of the parts that they're reviewing which is really really annoying because I have watched a lot of reviews and for some reason they never give you any up close shots and a lot of people want to see these things before they buy them if they're getting an FFL transfer from a website you know they want to purchase their first AR and you know they watch these reviews and then they get something that they never thought they thought it looked like something else or that functioned a certain way and then it actually didn't so um, so this buttstock has the um, adjustable lock here um, does lock in places three lock uh, position uh, great great really really sturdy uh, this whole gun is just super super sturdy barely any noise on this gun when you shake it so great great gun um, move on to here got the safety select semi safe really functional uh, the grip too has this um, these indentations here that are really really comfortable 
with your thumb and your hand very very comfortable I would even recommend getting these grips um, and these butts the butt stock uh, for your AR that you currently have if you want to upgrade those I know a lot of people are going with the magpul stuff but I love these grips um, so yeah a couple one of the upgrades I did already do to this gun I got the magpul bad lever on here and I'll show you what that does this bad lever here bolt assist device that's what that stands for um, so you got your bolt lock your bolt back most of you are familiar with this you have a uh, lever underneath here So you pull the bolt back, you can push up on this, and it'll lock it back for you, which is a lot easier than having to push the bolt back and then reach around here and push this down, and then lock it back. And you can push this down to release the bolt as well. Great. It's about $29.99. I got it from my local green top here. You can get them online probably cheaper, but I wanted mine now. Um, so I had to go to the store and get it. Picked it up, $29.99. Great, great upgrade on the gun. Looks really cool, too, to have that on there. Cool little upgrade. Uh, moving on to here, uh, we got the Magpul. Uh, well, actually, let's talk about my charging handle that I got first. Um, this is another upgrade that I put on the gun. Um, it is a BCM Mod 4 medium charging handle which is a great great charging a lot of charging handles that come with these guns um, stock I have a little 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 charger right there um, this one's great because it's not too big but it allows you to really grab onto that thing i'll be doing a more in-depth review on that charging handle specifically but i definitely recommend that uh, charging handle bcm um, but you can see there it's really nice and a lot of people love this which I do this little concave here the design here it's really really sleek on your gun too especially with the sight on there it looks really nice yeah moving on to the sights I got the Magpul uh, flip up sights I'll do a in-depth review on these two these are the newer ones I believe because they have the uh, caved out um, parts here to make them a lot lighter uh, you see the indentations here and here make them a lot lighter great great sights I was shooting them today I was getting really 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 nice tight groups with these from about uh, it wasn't too far about 70 or uh, 70 feet so not too far away but um, that's what my range provides so it's what I was doing dealing with today but it was shooting really really great with these sights so I would definitely recommend these they flip up but now you can either push this and flip them up wouldn't recommend doing that because it hits your finger but they have these two things right here that I use that flips them up um, and then you got the front front side here flip up um, these are polymer sights um, you can get uh, them for a decent price. This this one's about twenty nine. They're about thirty dollars each. A little one's a little bit more than the other. Uh, what's nice about the front side is this post is actually steel. Um, comes with an adjuster uh, to move that up and down. Um, great, 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 great sights. Um, I went with the full uh, Picatinny rail all the way around. I a lot of people gripe about the Picatinny rails are too bulky. Um, a lot of different things that I necessarily don't agree with. Um, I love the Picatinny rail all the way around because it's easy and accessible to change your optics, to change your flashlights, to change anything in um, crucial situations that you don't have time to take out your Allen wrench and uh, put in your key mod rail that you bought. Um, and find out it doesn't actually fit what you're using it's just really you don't have to add anything you just take it off with a quick release pop it on the side wherever you need it to go uh, that's what i went with uh, comes with the the, uh, the um v5 comes with these um uh, 
rail protectors too. Uh, the grips on here, which are really nice, they come off too. Um, you can buy these in the store separate, which they're really, really nice. Um, also, the foregrip, the end of the fence is foregrip. Well, there is, you just unscrew this and it slides up and down. You can take it off if you want to. Um, no tools needed for this. You just unscrew this and it comes right off. Um, really, really sturdy. Uh, it's got the grips on there as well, which is really comfortable. Uh, 16 inch barrel got the down defense muzzle brake they just made these two I believe uh, this is their new design as well really really like the muzzle brake and the recoil on this gun is just amazing um, barely any recoil there's some recoil but it actually feels really good <laughs> to shoot this gun uh, just feels like you have a quality piece of machinery here in your hand so I really really thank Daniel Defense for providing this you know beautiful piece of art here um, and um, what I'm gonna try to add to this gun I actually don't have any cons with this gun no cons at all I absolutely love this gun um, I did go with a Cerakote Tornado Gray um, which is awesome 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 I love the color of this gun beautiful beautiful color um, you do pay a little bit more for it but I love the Cerakote I wouldn't want to go with all black I love black rifles that's why our, uh, our uh, channel is black tactical um, but I had to go with the gray tornado gray um, looks great I believe um, I am wanting to add an optic to this gun um, probably a one power red dot or one to four um, optic on it. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open for suggestions about the channel, about anything that you know has worked for you. Um, and any of the reviews I do, anything that's worked for you, please, please, please comment below um, and let me know what you think. You know, any suggestions, I will definitely take them into consideration for sure. Um, you know, I want something that's efficient, reliable, um, cost. I believe in paying, you get what you pay for. So I don't want you to be restrained for cost. So if it's something that's expensive and it's something that's been reliable for you and you recommend it, please let me know. Um, I don't really have any cost um, restraint. So thank you all so much. Um, again, um, I'll be doing some more in-depth reviews on some of these parts as well. Um, so just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys for watching.